The city's Housing Preservation and Development Department is showing off the success of a new standard in sustainability for affordable housing. Jesse Mitchell takes us on a tour there in East Harlem where neighbors are feeling the effects. Overlooking travelers fast tracking along Park in East Harlem, shines Sendero Verde, Spanish for Green Path. A public walkway gives name and mission to these three buildings, housing more than 700 families. The complex is credited as the largest all affordable passive house certified project in the nation. The building itself is just simply using less energy than most buildings by a lot. The first of more than 25 now completed HPD passive house designs, elements incorporated into every aspect of life here reduce its energy use by more than half that of a traditional New York City complex this size. This is their favorite spot. Michelle Oliveros and her family were among the first to move in after watching the towers take shape from their one bedroom apartment a few blocks away. Two years later, besides all the luxury amenities available to ease her life, it's the clean air that has quieted her son's asthma, she says, has had the biggest impact. It's still giving me goosebumps because who never thought? You can't see it. You don't know that the windows are better than normal windows and that every breath of air you take is cleaner. Rebecca Crowley and Jermaine Lewis went from living in a one bedroom in Brooklyn with their three children to a three bedroom unit in Sendero with space for them all. The end game was making a better environment for my family. So I just, I, I kept going. I never in my dreams thought I would have a place this nice. The complex also includes two childhood education centers, a community art program, and supportive services for the more than 50 formerly unhoused families who have also found a home here, allowing all on the path towards a greener future. Now all the apartments here are in the process of being allocated, but there are still plenty more projects in the pipeline. So join the HPD lottery now if you qualify. In East Harlem, Jesse Mitchell, CBS News, New York. And HPD also launched a new greenhouse fund last week, allowing property owners to offset their emissions by buying credits that fund the agency's sustainability efforts. Jesse, by the way, is our community reporter covering Harlem. If you've got a story you'd like to share with her, you can contact Jesse by scanning the QR code right there on the screen.